For more, I'm joined now by Simon Boxall. He's a senior lecturer on ocean and earth science at the University of Southampton. Thanks so much for joining us. First of all, what does a disaster like this actually mean environmentally, given the amount of oil and, and the location of this collision? The amount of oil is quite significant. Um, if the entire oil uh, cargo was spilled into the sea, it would rank in the top 10 tanker spills of all time. So it's a, a large amount of oil. Also, this oil is what we call a condensate. It's not uh, just a natural crude oil. It's a sort of the higher uh, fractions of oil. So it's sort of the, the very light oils. And these are difficult to deal with and also very toxic. Now, the um, current status is that the ship is on fire. It's a very explosive mixture, which makes dealing with it dangerous and difficult. And, of course, they still have to determine the fate and the, uh, whether, whether any of the 32 crew members are still alive. And uh, that has to be the first priority. Um, sure. The potential for environmental disaster is high. The only positive side is, at the moment, the winds are keeping the spill offshore. They're uh, blowing away from the coast of Shanghai, and they are some 170 miles offshore as well. Okay. You, you mentioned, though, the Im potentially uh, impending disaster that would occur then if this does explode. What are the chances of that happening? How bad could it actually be if an actual explosion does occur off the back of this burning fire? I'm very difficult to say for certain. If it explodes, then it means the entire load will go into the sea. Um, and once it does that, it's not like a normal oil spill, which is, I won't say easily picked up, but it can be picked up. In this case, this very light fraction will stay at the surface. It's difficult to remove from the surface. It's dangerous to remove from the surface because it is so flammable. Um, in fact, the best thing to do with it, ironically, is to let it burn uh, unless they can put that fire out and they can recover the tanker hull to take back to port. But at the moment, um, only time will tell. Okay, at this point, we don't know exactly what caused this collision, but does it anger you that these environmental disasters seem to continue to occur? I mean, do you think safety and precautions aren't being taken seriously enough? Evidently, in this case, not. I mean, there's no excuse for two ships which are a quarter of a kilometer long to bump into each other in the middle of the open sea. Uh, modern day technology means that there are plenty of warning systems. Uh, the ships both transmit their location and their speed and direction to each other, there is no excuse for this accident to have occurred. And time will tell us as to who's at fault, but there will be human error at the core of this particular incident. Okay, we're gonna have to leave it there. I'd like to thank you so much for joining us from Southampton.